Welcome back to uh, MAGFAST 2021. If you're just joining us, uh, we are enjoying a speed run here of Cosmic Smash to raise money for Child's Play. Uh, lots of donation incentives. Mostly the ones that are left are for tomorrow's Hollow Knight run, but there are also a couple polls. Uh, Mike, do you want to introduce yourself and also explain your uh, bid war? Hi, I'm Maya Mike. I'll be running uh, bid war percent for Cosmic Smash today. Uh, there is a bid war. Um, I don't know if it's close or not. It can run through the entire run. Um, about pineapple on pizza, which seems to be the eternal debate. Um, I was under the assumption, the opinion, the evidently wrong opinion, that no pineapple on pizza was the right answer, which means anytime I have to make a turn in my run, I'm going to turn to the right. Uh, during setup, the opposing opinion of um, not of uh, being upset that pineapple was left off was the the uh, prevailing opinion. So maybe I should go left. Uh, at which point during setup, I asked Blueberry what they thought. I have blueberry said, I like pineapple, but it's not my favorite topping, which is right down the middle and was not helpful. So I flipped a coin and we're going to uh, use no pineapple, meaning I'm going to turn left. I mean, I know that bit war is got a pretty big gap in it right now, but if you want to make me change directions and go right instead of left at certain points in the run, you can still donate to that bid war, I believe. If not, we're just going to be turning left, um, like NASCAR, but the other way around, I think. That's right. That's good. I just defaulted my settings. I didn't. We am ready to go. In three, two, one. I started a timer I don't have. That's okay. Uh, I'm also playing as, as you can see, a bear carrying a comically large uh, fish of some sort. Might be a tuna, might be a salmon. Uh, there are a handful of different secret characters you can uh, beat up in this game with some cheat codes. And I chose the bear. Cause it's pretty goofy. A cosmic smash is a uh, bit of a mix between like uh, squash and breakthrough or breakout uh, that I know from the uh, Atari 2600. Um, and it is set as much as a sports like game can have a setting in a subway system. You'll notice that each stage has a different uh, name and stop number. And uh, you'll be able to see the map of the subway as we make our way through our playthrough. Um, there are branching pathways, uh, which is what the bid war incentive um, is for to choose which direction I'm going to turn. Uh, but your first seven stages or so are the same every run. There's the first branches and, uh, until a couple of stages in. Come on. I didn't hit smash. That's what I want. Your score is next level. Let's begin. I do have two different shot types at my disposal. Uh, I can just use a regular old swing here, which will not break through tiles. Um, I can also use a super smash, which does break through multiple tiles. But if you keep an eye on that big old timer on the bottom there, you'll notice when I'm charging up my super shot that the timer goes down faster. Um, it is draining the amount of time I have left. Um, and since I put the lead I made the leaderboard for speedrun.com, I got to decide that um, as far as the difficulty options are concerned, you can set those timers as high as you'd like. I figure the challenge should be more about getting through the stages quickly then whether or not you can do it on the in-game time limit um, which really only otherwise affects your score uh, though there, i suppose if you wanted to at the end you could count up your in-game timer and do a different run with that i um, mean you'd want to be more 
uh, judicious with your Super Smash uses. Um, the other reason why you want to be careful, and, and I have uh, I lost count because I accidentally used it on the first stage when I didn't mean to, is if you finish seven different stages with a trick, sh uh, trick Smash on these Super Shots, you get to play a bonus stage at the end, uh, which is on the timer. I mean, it's before the credits roll. Um, it's pretty neat to look at, and I may uh, accidentally um, use my Cosmo Sma my uh, Trick Smash too many times so we can see it. Uh, but it is counted against your time, and is otherwise optional. Come on, come on. Oh. Oh, 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 there was two there. Okay. That's why the color change. There we go. And we're going to be heading left. Let's begin. To the right, please. Thank you. That's uh your score next. Left Let's again. Let's begin. It should be noted that even if you wanted to say go to um whatever you consider the, the rarest ending station, the the air quote the last stage, um the highest numbered uh final stop, I suppose, however you'd like to phrase that. Um, the best way to get there is not necessarily always going to the left. Going to the left is usually the more difficult stage, but that doesn't necessarily get you to where you want to go if you're looking for um, the rarer ending. Come on. There we go. Your score is next level. Let's begin. I can, I'd like to save this left column for last. If I can, that was, okay, we'll do that. These are all single tiles, I don't need to use my uh, trick smashes here. Whoop! That went right... Right through me. going to say it, it's bad physics because it's not but given the way that you do control your shots sometimes the hardest thing to do is to nudge your not shot over just a little bit it's not like it, the game controls bad or anything I, I just had a tough time shifting it over just a little bit um and the your aim is relative like if i hold up and to the left it doesn't aim to the top left of the screen it aims top and to the left from where I strike the ball, um, which might make sense, but it does mean it, it can just be a little bit harder to, to get exactly where you want your shot to go sometimes. Let me make sure I got enough trick shots here too. Alright, now these big old red blocks. There we go. Your score next level. Let's begin. See, it's just 
multiple layers here. We're just gonna cosmic smash, cosmic smash, trick shot our way through all of them. But again, if you were a little bit lower on your timer here, uh, this being an arcade game, I should say, if you were closer to the end of your current credit, you may not want to use so many of your trick shots here. Not so worried about my quarters today. Boom! Oh, are you serious? Skirt it right over the top. And there's my final score. Am I gonna get the- did I not do enough for the bonus stage? There we go. Attention please turn off your cell phone. We are not quite at time yet. I did unlock the bonus stage. Got a little worried there for a second. So this is our bonus stage. This is the only stage where there's an opponent. Um, there is not even a two-player mode, even in the arcade version of this game, I believe. There's only two tiles to hit here. Got one. Why did I aim up? There we go. And the times are going to be when the credits appear. Cosmic Flash, thank you. Congratulations, thank you for playing. Start. And there's time. And if you do get the bonus stage, you get a nice little bonus cutscene here before the credits. Um, whereas I said, if you want to do an uh, in-game timer, if you will like i know uh the only example i can ever think of sometimes just rerunning is for super metroid um i believe used to use in game timer as the primary uh leaderboard ranking um but fortunately you only get these screens if you see the bonus stage well, that was nice five second tatsu uh, but there are multiple um, stations you can end up at, each of which has a different uh, Japanese name um, and with a different sort of uh, mythology or story or, or just a different uh, special meaning behind the name. Um, and there's multiple ways to get to each station. Uh, so as I said, if you're trying to get to their quote, the hardest ending, you're not always going to pick the hardest stages to go through. Um, you may need to make different choices you can also if you're just going for a high score run you can um really take a winding path and play through a bunch of stages before you get to the end i mean even then you may not end up at the highest level stage for your ending that's just gonna take us to our credits that is it for cosmic smash it is nice and quick especially when we're going down that particular path we went through i'm um, not quite as many stages uh, for this particular bid war percent. Uh, but there are plenty of games left on the schedule today. Um, I'm not sure what is next, but I am looking forward to the Zelda 2 run later today uh, with TGH. Um, I, I do like watching uh, TGH's speedruns. Those are always a blast. I have somewhere... I uh, signed Zelda cap from TGH2. Uh, but thank you for inviting me. I will be back tomorrow with some Earthbound. Uh, but for Cosmic Smash, we are all done today. Enjoy the rest of the event. Thank you so much. That was a great, fun, quick run of a little game that I know I haven't seen before and I think uh, chat was saying it was new to some of them as well so that's always a fun experience up next we do have Super Mario 64 being run by Rip Salty after that Sonic R then the Zelda 2 run that Mario Mike mentioned and to round out the night tonight we have the Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past uh, randomizer by Ben Briggs <laughs>